Catholic. Mabuhay. What is the best way to write sets? This lesson is all about describing and writing sets in different manner. There are different ways of describing or writing the elements of sets. The semantic form, the roster form, and the set builder form. Sa semantic form, ilinalarawan ang isang set sa pamamagitan ng common property na taglay ng bawat element o sa pamamagitan ng rule na nagbubuklod sa mga elements ng set. Narito ang mga halimbawa. F is the set of primary colors. G is the set whose elements are the first 10 perfect square numbers. Sa roster form, isinusulat o ilinilista ang bawat isang element ng set. Ang mga elements ay ikinukulong ng isang pares ng curly brackets. Bawat isang element ay ihinihiwalay ng comma. Kung ang set ay naglalaman ng maraming elements, maaari itong paikliin sa pamamagitan ng paggamit ng ellipsis o dot dot dot. Linawin natin. Sa roster form, hindi binabago ng paulit-ulit na paglilista ng mga elements ang isang set. Halimbawa, ang set na ang mga elements ay M, A, T, H, E, M, A, T, I, C, at S. At ang set na ang elements ay M, A, T, H, E, I, C, at S ay tumutukoy sa parehong set. Hindi rin binabago ng pagpapalit ng mga positions ng elements ang set. Kaya ang set na ang elements ay M, A, T, H, E, I, C, S. At ang set na ang elements ay A, C, E, H, I, M, S, T ay tumutukoy sa parehong set. Ang set builder form ay kadalasang ginagamit kung ang set ay nagmula sa mas malaking set. Ang mga elements nito ay isinasalarawan ng common property na taglay ng mga elements. Ito ang mga halimbawa ng set builder form. Set J is set of N such that N is an odd number and N is greater than negative 5 but less than 5. Set K is a set of X such that X is an integer and X is greater than or equal to 10. We can rewrite a semantic form or set builder form of a set into roster form. Dito gagamit tayo ng deductive thinking. For instance, if set L is a collection of secondary colors, then L is a set whose elements are green, orange, violet. If set M is a collection of all even numbers greater than 10, then M is a set whose elements are 12, 14, 16, 18, and so on and so forth. If N is a set of X such that X is an integer and X is less than or equal to 3, then N is a set whose elements are 3, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, 
and so on and so forth. Or n is a set whose elements are dot 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 comma negative 2 negative 1 0 1 2 3 we can also rewrite a roster form of a set into semantic form. Dito naman, gagamit tayo ng inductive thinking. The answer may not be unique. For instance, if O is a set whose elements are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, dot, 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 then set O is a set of all whole numbers or set O is a set of integers greater than or equal to zero. If set P is a set whose elements are 12, 15, 18, dot 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 up to 51, then set P is a set of multiples of 3 greater than or equal to 12, but less than or equal to 51. Now try this. Rewrite each set into roster form. Did you get Q is a set whose elements are lunes, martes, miércoles, Jueves, Viernes, Sabado, Linggo. R is a set whose elements are H, L, N, P, and S. S is a set whose elements are one, two, three. Rewrite each set, this time into set builder form. Set T is set of N such that N is a natural number and N is less than five. Set U is set of W such that W is a whole number and W is not equal to 10. For more Matitinik tips, just click Math Click. And please, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for our next video lesson. See ya!